breaking news, guys. Aso Rock is on fire. Hey, hey. Everywhere in just the bars, those Nigerians. Unbelievable secret leaks. Chetima is now begging his kingsmen, the Northerners, after plans to divide Nigeria on seat. According to these people, they said President Bola Tinubu is unfit to lead Nigeria. Record that some time ago, there's this rumor all over, you know, that there are some persons who are planning to unseat President Bola Tinubu through coup. Even to the extent, Tinubu allies, all of them, you know, they were reacting. Nobody dares to do this, to do that, and all that. Nigerians, eventually, this is coming home. You understand? Now, not, not owners who feel that they are the owner of Nigeria, you know, because with what is going on right now, you can understand that they are not comfortable, you know, being led by another uh, person from another region. But this would have proved them wrong if President Bola Metinubu, you know, is actually uh, doing the, the needful. Right now, they feel that maybe they are the only people who can lead Nigeria. But don't forget about what President Muhammad Buhari did. Well, he was the person that put Nigerians into this mess, but President Bola Metinubu finally helped him to push Nigeria to this state. Northerners are planning to seat Tinubu. You understand? Serious plan in the north. Now, according to Niger Twist News, uh, Shetima is the vice president of uh, Nigeria. Okay, he's not begging his uh, northern brothers. Make Kuna not do this thing, no. Because this will eventually divide Nigeria. And some of them are saying they don't care. After all, President Bola Metinubu's government is not putting them in the picture. They are not feeling marginalized already so soon. You understand? They are not feeling being marginalized. But what they are using to hold is that President Bola Metinubu is incompetent. You get? He's incompetent. He lacks the capability to lead Nigeria because of what is going on. Well, who do you blame? Can we not say APC, they don't have, you know, young people would have actually taken this country to another level? These are the questions Nigerians are asking on the comment section. Why Tinubu? But Tinubu said it's a stone. He fought for democracy in Nigeria, and for that, he must be compensated. Tinubu was out for anything if actually he... He never won that uh, a presidency, according to INEC. You get, if you can hear all his utterances during that time, this go happen, that go happen, and all that. Oh, good and fine. I know I did not win Abuja. But while I go day, if the judiciary ruled against me, he talk up. I mean, not talk up. Everybody heard it. He said it openly. You get, yes, so I understand. That is the rule that if you do not win in Abuja, you cannot be Nigerian president. I understand though. But if you people try that, Nigeria go cast. You understand? I have my people who are ready to fight. Also record that one of his staunch supporters then, because now what I don't pass Gary, uh, Dokubo, Asari Dokubo, called a dollar private army. He said they are ready to fight. Anybody who challenged Tinubu this and that, he was the first person to start crying out. That is it. If Nottingham's are planning anything to sit President Bola Tinubu, who did you blame? They have their reasons why. Now the question is, when President Muhammad Buhari was not doing, uh, was there doing nothing, why did the Southerners not plan against him? This will make you to understand that the South is divided. That is the truth. 
the South is divided. Currently, uh, we heard it everywhere. It was everywhere, you know, on the news. That Atiku Abubakar and his uh, uh, halas, they went to meet the former uh, president of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, in his own town, Kastina Hindaura. The a northern as well, uh, a senator who represented um, Southern Kaduna, uh, Kaduna Central, please, uh, please pardon me, Kaduna Central, you know, Senator Sheusan, he cried out. He said, see, oh, northerners are planning to unseat President Bola Metinubu in 2027. And I'm telling you, this will not hug well for us because this will lead to Nigerian division. If this their plan arches, if by 2027, President uh, Bola Ametinubu is unseated by the Northerners, Nigeria go divide. Though. Is there or less a Southerner will take over from President uh, Bola Ametinubu? Oh, there will be peace. Maybe that is the reason why Shetima is begging because he knows why people never supported him, you know, being the, the vice president of Nigeria. You understand everything they said about him. So majority of Nigerians, they are not comfortable with him. So if by at the end of the day, this happens, it's going to look like it was all planned, all from the beginning. Yeah, the Northern as they know that this man is incompetent and they supported him to become the Nigerian president. Then 2027, they will work against him. You understand? Or something, something. Maybe they will wait, they will still do it. This one, he, uh, Shetima might go, or he becomes the Nigerian president. I don't know how they are going to play this game. But I'm telling you, President Bola Metinubu, uh, seats is really shaking in Asorok. You understand? And it's high time for him to step up. All those in people, when Sabi to attack people, on social media, you know, then they talk and say that time our people they say anybody when they take advice is bound to fail. The person is a failure. You know, so when people even they criticize you, they are helping you because they are telling you one or two things. People who criticize you love you. To them, they feel say that they do and make it pay you, but they are already telling you where you are failing. You understand? If you listen to the voice of your critics, you will be able to, you know, uh, strategize yourself and sit uprightly. Can we now say this government is sitting uprightly right now? When we say anybody, when talk something, they will look for one thing to talk. And the same thing the former president did with his aid. They, were, they are just there employed to be attacking Nigerians. They eventually scatter Nigeria before they left. And right now, where they hang Nigeria keep, this government can't, can't, can't help them push and down. You get. You, Nigerians, you people just have to get ready. I said this thing last year, that in more interesting times is ahead of us. It'd be like, say, person just to talk negatively. You know what I mean by more interesting time. The hardship in this country, eh? by next year, you know, go get back to. UN is already crying that hunger crisis has already hit Nigeria, that they just gave the Nigerian government three months, they will understand. And by then, criminalities, we, we, we do what? It will multiply. People will no longer want to do what? They, 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 see, there is no hope again. Maybe the best thing is to just go, just they will people up and down. They kidnap people for ransom and all that, which is even happening now. But that will be the worst. They are telling us they are doing their best. Nigerians should endure, make sacrifice, this and that. But that endure, endurance so, and the sacrifice and whatever, it's not in the dictionary. It's only ordinary Nigerians that that one is meant for. What Nigerians? I don't hear the matana. Ben, make a drop up for you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this video, let it go viral.